the dog. <laughs> the dog's like, what's happening? The dog's so used to her singing. Oh. She doesn't even look exhausted. What the world? Most people would be like really out of breath. But she's so composed, she's, she still has a good time to literally pet her dog. I like these ending loopers. <laughs> the dog ran away, she's like, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, did you see that emotion in the face? Like the cold, she's like ferocious, like fierce, like she's like, yeah, the cold doesn't bother me. Like truly, like kind of like badass moment right there. <laughs> man, girls' generation members, guys, don't disappoint. Tiffany too, all of them. Man, what the world. Imagine if they came back, I swear if they came back, it'd be over. Game over. And you wanna say, oh, you wanna boo, Tony, me da. Hello everyone, it's Tony, uh, back at it once again. Today, actually, this is a kind of a last minute review that I'll be uploading. This one being a cover by two former Girls' Generation S or SNSD um, members being Sohyun, Sohyun and uh, Jessica. Girls' Generation, for those of you who aren't aware, although I have a feeling that most of you are, Girls' Generation is still currently one of the biggest K-pop girl groups of all time. If you're not too familiar with Girls' Generation, you could probably say that they're equivalent of maybe Twice or maybe Blackpink nowadays. That would probably be my best comparison I could give to you right now. Since the group has disbanded, they've done all the members have gone to their separate directions. They're their own separate things. But Jessica, in particular, she did leave the group while they were still together, and this was in due to uh, um, differences in. Um, certain aspects because she was starting her own clothing brand and she was catching a lot of uh, steam with that so she kind of had to take a back step from the singing stuff and do more of the designer work and stuff like that. So Sahyun also released today as of my recording a cover for IU, Mamamoo and 10 centimeters. Now apart from IU's Blooming that's the only one song that I know that is on her cover. Um, the Mamamoo and 10 centimeter songs are going to be a cool surprise to me, so I'm looking forward to that. And Jessica is covering uh, Let It Go by from Frozen's uh, soundtrack. So we're going to do Sahyun first, and then we're going to finish it off with Jessica to bring it all home. Because we already know that Let It Go is an amazing song. I mean, it won freaking, uh, what is it, an Oscar, Grammy, I can't remember. But yeah, let's get into it, guys. Jumbi, ready? She! Yeah. Okay, so let's start with Sahyun's now. Mm hmm do, 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 do. I like how her dog is there. <laughs> the only no reason I know about this is because she uploaded this on her Instagram. And she tagged IU. <laughs> The way she sings it is so unique compared to IU. It's a bit softer and I feel, cause IU's a bit higher in the register. Her it's a bit softer. She does this so effortlessly. It's so, so clean. Oh my gosh. Like her register is a bit lower, but it sounds, it sounds very similar to IU, but it has that, like, oh, like how she held that is a bit it makes it unique to herself. Ayu doesn't hold it that much. She looks like she's just having a good time. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> the dog's like, what's happening? <laughs> the dog's so used to her singing. Oh. <coughs> okay, so that was Ayu's booming. What song is this? 10 centimeter. Okay, this is a 10 centimeter song. Interesting here. I haven't heard this. I have no comparison. It's a nice song. <laughs> the dog. She has so much facial expression in her in her like expressions, it's very nice to see. She's so 
She sounds so caring in her like voice and everything. Even though she's singing to the camera, it kind of feels like you're in front of her and she's kind of just singing to a friend. It's really nice. Oh, I love that little Chakuman part. Like how she hits it. Her voice is very soothing to listen to. Very melodic. This song is nice. It was okay. Just amazing. Uh, this is Mama Moo Love Lane. I haven't heard the song either. Oh, her English is very cool. nice. I like how she just like did the whispering thing. She, it didn't even sound like it was affected. She just did it herself. Great vocal control. There's such a variety and range in all these songs. They're kind of like similar, but she has a bit of variation in her voice with each one. So it's I, it's very unique to her, and she's adding her own little flair to it. I love her. That hold was so nice. She doesn't even look exhausted. What the world? Most people would be like really out of breath. But she's so composed. She's, she still has the time to literally pet her dog. This is so impressive. What is it with all the girls' generation members being amazing at singing a cappella? Oh. It's insane. <laughs> I love it when she plays with the dog. I think this is the last song. This should be another 10 centimeter song. So these two 10 centimeter songs sound very heavily kind of like guitar based based on this cover in my opinion i think that love lane and blooming kind of fit her song's voice a bit better she still sings them great it's just that i feel like the rhythming in the way the emotion that they convey these two ten centimeter songs are not suited well for how she's singing it i feel like yes I don't know, it just, I feel like I can't get a, as that much emotion from this. Then again, I do also have a bias for Blooming, because I really do love IU, so... <laughs> uh, I just realized her, her dog has a vest, <laughs> that's very cute. <laughs> Ooh, that attitude, Oh. Huh? She's a very caring person, she's very cute. I like these ending loopers. <laughs> the dog ran away, she's like, get me out of here! <laughs> so cute. The dog's like, look at what? What's happening? <laughs> Did the dog fall asleep? Yeah. Oh, it's the same, uh, she's part of the same label as, uh, Pak Min Young. Pak Min Young is in, uh, What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, Her Private Life, and I'll Come to You When this, The Weather is Nice or something like that. She's one, also one of my favorite actors, so the fact that she's part of Namu Actors is really nice. I, I have more affection now for <laughs> Sahyun. But yeah, um, Sahyun's, uh, covers of IU, Mamamoo, and, uh, 10 centimeters. I use cover amazing really it's the only song that i have a reference to because i know what the original sounds like it's very similar in tone to i use it's a bit lower in the register i would say because IU has a bit of like of a sharper like more higher pitched voice sahyeon the way she's able to control is that as it 
say IU was maybe slightly sick one day and she had to perform at a lower register, I feel like this is what would happen. But even still, like when she's like, well, there's a certain part before where you hold like a certain high note, I think she holds it, Sohyun actually holds it a bit longer than IU. And then she adds her own little like uh, fluctuations in her voice. Like she goes up and down in certain parts while she's holding, whereas IU would just hold it steady. Her vocal control is amazing and with regards to my second favorite song of the covers, I would definitely have to say it's the Mama Moo Love Lane song because I just feel that you can get more emotion out of that song and she had more room to put in her own little flares, her own nuances in vocal stylings with that song. With 10 centimeter, the, the two 10 centimeter songs, I feel like she wasn't able to contribute as much emotion into the songs that she could that she was able to with blooming and uh, lovely these last three songs keep in mind i've never heard before but this is just my honest unbiased opinion with the two ten Samir songs they sure they were happy and everything but i think that maybe because of the guitar or maybe because of certain pacing it sounded off a bit to me and it just felt a bit flat when compared to the other two songs as usual girls generation members a girls generation member always with the vocals always hitting it on point and this is uh, amazing now uh, let's finish it off guys with uh, jessica's let it go which i know already is going to be amazing but yeah let's get into it i haven't actually heard it so let's go okay so i'm going to start it right now i mean we already know this song is amazing but let's see what jessica's cover is it has like over a million views already i think so like in the first three few days Her English is actually really amazing. I've heard her, like, she's super fluent in English. Her, her vocalings kind of sound a bit nasally. It's interesting. I wasn't expecting this. It's kind of like how Rose of Blackpink kind of sings, like... It's super unique. I've never heard a cover like this, though. This song is amazing for... Oh, this is actually a lot softer than I was expecting. I think she's holding back. It also sounds like she changed her voice a bit. It sounds like somebody different. Wow. This is insane. Oh my god, did you see that emotion in the face? Like, the cold. She's like, ferocious, like, fierce. Like, she's like, yeah, the cold doesn't bother me. Like, truly, like, kind of like, badass moment right there. Honestly, this looks as if it's like one of those, like, old school, like, Disney videos where they're, like, recording the artist singing. It's so... This is so nice. Let it go, let it go. Some parts actually sound very similar to Idina Menzel's part. Some of the, yeah, when she's singing like certain high notes, it sounds exactly like Idina Menzel almost actually. Man, Girls Generation members, guys, don't disappoint. Tiffany too, all of them. Man, what the world. Imagine if they came back. I swear, if they came back, it'd be over. Game over. I can't believe she actually managed to hit that. That's one of the hardest notes to hit in the song because you're building, even the writers, they mentioned this, like it's so hard to hit that. I, I'm gonna talk about that after at the end, but like that's just insane. How is she not exhausted? 
my god. Could you imagine if she was still part of the group before she had to leave because of the designer stuff? Yo, they'd be they'd be even more insane than they already were. Okay. Jessica's let it go. Oh my god. So Quickly, before I forget, the high note that she hit as it was progressing, even the writers of the song, when they were writing Into the Unknown, they were saying, they were making reference to how Into the Unknown is very similar in vocal construction as um, Let It Go, because the high notes that it hits, it's very same. The, the high note that you hit is exactly the same. It's just that you have to have, I think, more capability with Let It Go, if anything, just a bit more um, like power and ability to hold it in to get to that high note during the whole thing. And the fact that she's not exhausted, the fact that she's able to hit that high note is absolutely insane because it shows such great vocal control and such great like just capacity to like sustain yourself for up until that moment. It's just absolutely amazing. Jessica's Let It Go is for sure an amazing song. The fact that she sang this cover is no shock to me because you have to be really, really confident in your singing ability to sing this song and she knocked it out of the park. Would I have preferred to see a bit more of like her personal flair into it? Yes, for sure. In the beginning when she's speaking English pure, like when she's speaking just like talking almost, like her talking singing, you could hear a bit of a more of a nasally like tone to it and it sounds a bit different. But then near the end, for some reason, it sounds as if she kind of like becomes Adina Menzel. She just hits everything as if it, she was the original. And it's so interesting to see, to hear that evolution. It's absolutely mind boggling and it's amazing how she does it. Oh! Girls' Generation! Oh my god. In terms of both like Sohyun and Jessica, they both knocked it out of the park, all of their covers. Um, Jessica had a, clearly a lot of emotion, just like Sohyun. Vocal control is amazing. Everything is amazing. I just really hope that more Girls' Generation members do more covers of songs soon because it took a long time for Jessica to upload one. And I think Sohyun, it's been a while coming too. So it'll be really interesting. I know that like really Tiffany, Taeyeon, those are like really the main two I know that are releasing music still. So it's really refreshing to hear it from these uh, members again. And who knows, maybe there'll be a girl's generation comeback one day. But you know, until then we have this to look on to. Guys, thank you for watching. Kamsamnida. And until next time, Annyeonghikaseyo.